Kampong. And I'm Wanessa. I'm Kira Hong. And it's Monday morning. Mm -hmm. And what kind of news we will start with? We have a very good news. Now, if you've seen on the front pages, mm -hmm. you'll see a picture of a lovely family. And that was of the famous actress, Kun Tak Bongkot. Um, who made a name was Kong Malai, but right now, of course, she got married to one of the most richest men in okay. Thailand. So her last name is now Ben Jarong Kakun. Okay. Now, um, this is uh, her first, their firstborn son together, obviously. However, Kun Bun Chai Ben Jarong uh, Ben Jarong Kakun, he's uh, 58 years old. He already had a son with his previous wife, but this obviously is another newborn son of his, and um, he actually just to give um, an updates on his background he's the 13th richest man in thailand the 13th right. so you know not quite top 10 but still <laughs> on a top 20. Billionaire. yeah so he like his um assets has about 990 thousand uh 990 million us dollars oh that's how much he's worth <laughs> not that much apparently <laughs> but this particular boy the newborn son um is actually was born in at the bamrung rat hospital at uh, yesterday at 9 49 a.m and he was like 4100 gram and obviously this is one of the cute little boy his nickname very cute cow home so it's like, like fragrance rice. Exactly. And his first name is Chiwakit Benjerong Kakun, of course. And um, at this point, so welcome the newborn. And, you know, hopefully it looks like he's going to be a very good looking boy. So we probably might see him in the film. Who knows? Yes. All right. Let's move on to another incident that took place um, yesterday morning. Um, not early in a in a like midnight last yeah night midnight last night so well nine eleven something p.m. Mm -hmm. of obviously um, off the eighth so it was really close to the ninth so it's only about like what six seven hours before we are sitting here right now <laughs> and this took place of course um, due to the fact that there's um, the airplane TG mm. so Thai airway airplanes that skits off the runway at Suwanapum airport and there are luckily no one got seriously injured of course there are some injuries but not that bad now they say that this particular flight is TG 6 Seven nine, and this is from Guangzhou of uh, Guangzhou of the China. China. Yes. So in this particular um, incident, there are, they say that there was um, this particular plane skid off the runway, and there fire on the right side of the plane. So a few uh. people got uh, suffered quite a bit of the you know um, inhaling all the smoke and such. There are twelve people injured altogether, and one of them. Um, well, actually, um, Kun Wirapak, Supa Pai Boon, one the, of the actors, actors right. exactly, one of the famous actors here in Thailand. And he even um, put on his Instagram the picture and he said that, you know, at this point, he was lucky. He, he's glad that he survived this mm -hmm. particular incident, even though it's quite scary. However, at this point, they believe that it's due to the fact that the, the wheel itself did not fully extend it. So that caused this, you know, so skidded kinda... off the runway. But very luckily that, you know, all 298 uh, crew as, and passengers um, actually survived this particular incident. And at this point, they say that's one of whom airport on the eastern side of the runway, they can still use it. But of course, you know, at this point, they're probably trying to remove the airplane as we speak. Okay. Right. So that's the update for you there. Is it, is it strange for some reason lately we heard so many reports mm -hmm. of the skit off? Right. The is it because it, it's happened as often as usual but we just heard it more or because it's because the... It could be both because don't forget social media helps a lot. Right. True. Right. All anyway. right. We're going to move on mm -hmm. to the next news. So normally, when we report about the drug arrest, mm -hmm. we would heard about during the transition. Right. It's at the house or it's in the pickup truck. Mm -hmm. But this time, it's a bit different. Because so far, like, we heard the report that the uh, police is very up on the game mm -hmm. about catching the drug dealers and most of the time able to catch it in between uh, traveling right most of the time it's from the north 
to mm-hmm. Bangkok. This time is also during the transition, but uh, the police got the report or tip off that they changing between they changing from traveling on land to the normal pickup truck. That right now they are using a speedboat. Okay, makes sense because yes, you know, makes sense. there's more checkpoints these days. True, right? Um, but when you talk about speedboat, at it's in Chiang Mai, so it's got to be suspicious when you see some speedboat in a house. It's true. It's it's yeah. nothing like you know in the ocean and such. Yes, mm-hmm. because it's in Chiang Mai. I don't think it's something common mm-hmm. you see in anybody house or garage. Right. So the police got tip off that the nowadays drug dealers start using. Uh, speedboat to mm-hmm. transfer the methamphetamine, so all these uh, illicit drugs down to Bangkok. Able to find this one house in Chiang Mai that has speedboat park in their garage along with pickup trucks and such. Uh, the police able to arrest when they were uh, trailing mm-hmm. the speedboat mm-hmm. on the way to the pier mm-hmm. in Chiang Mai itself. Uh, it's supposed to be going down Bing River to Ta Province at Pumipon Dam mm-hmm. to uh, land it at Ta Province and get on another pickup truck and go down to Bangkok. Right. So in this case, four people got arrested: Chayagon or O Shun Kam, 26 year old. Mm-hmm. Uh, the driver or the owner of the boat himself is 33 year old Puwit Pisan Watana. And also uh, Wasawat Mani Ratchiagun, 25 years old and mm-hmm. 30 years old, Ale Gittika mm-hmm. This is all in Chiang Mai. Along together with the boat, they also got two pickup trucks, nine cell phones, and two shortwave radio. Mm-hmm. And uh, this reportedly part of Lee Saw drug trafficking ring right. in Proud District. Chiang mm-hmm. Mai province. Mm-hmm. So they are being pretty creative. Right. And it's good because a lot of drugs, 400,000. Yes. So that's In good. the pickup truck, they found under the cap, they mm-hmm. found 400,000 methamphetamine pills mm-hmm. um, on the way to the boat. Right. Bing River. So now, Dave, you see speedboat in Bing River. Mm, there's a chance that it's actually carrying some methamphetamine pills down yeah. to chance South though don't, chance. don't alarm people because you know <laughs> you don't want there's to there's a chance more. that right. it will be one of those boat mm-hmm. all right um right now we're going to move on to all the well uh, the last few the last two at least i'm going to talk about the ambush as well as the drive-by shooting mm-hmm. obviously so it's not very um, delightful news. Unfortunately, there has been a report um, in Prajinburi province on uh, the 7th at about 11, uh, 10.30 p.m. Now, there has been a report that there was uh, a person that got ambushed in a drive-by shooting, and this particular person was sent to Prajanta Kham uh, Hospital. However, this person, his name is... Um, Sayut Klam Paibu. Now, mm-hmm. if you heard the last name before, Sounds this is actually so yeah, the one of the famous politician of the Democrat Party, Kun Ong Ad Klam Paibu. Mm-hmm. Of course, this is his nephew, and this particular person, Kun Sayut, is also a sub district headman. Um, and this particular case, right now, he was transferred. He is transferred to the Japaya Apai Pubet Hospital, mm-hmm. um, but he's still in a coma. They say that they saw in in the scene at the scene, um, they have found five bullet holes in his car on the the driver's side, of course. And they say that they he was shot um, on his right shoulder, uh, right arm, as well as around his to- torso about three bullets hole around his torso and they say that the um the relatives say that he said before he actually went into the surgery say that he knew who it was but of mm. course they didn't get a name out of him unfortunately at this point the police say that um they will obviously take a look at the fact that there might be some uh, local conflict mm-hmm. you know in terms of um there he just get into the job for a year, so he's got the post for a year, and local political um, are always a very dangerous scene. It True. seems like it's very intense, so it could be that, or it could be um, the fact that there's involved 
you know, women, they didn't, you know, remove that or personal issues as well. Mm -hmm. Now they say that um, at this point, um, they, the police are asking the witnesses and they believe that it might not be the professional job. Mm -hmm. This might not, um, this might just be someone who just, you know, not very happy with him. Get frustrated. Exactly. Just want to shot him. Right. So, hmm. so they have to investigate it still, but unfortunately he's still in coma, but it seems like he kind of knew who it was. Oh, okay. Right. That would be interesting. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we will move on to the next news that also involve shooting, mm -hmm. but in this case didn't make it. Mm -hmm. This happened in the Taitani province. Um, the victim mm -hmm. is was 45 years old, Pan Kriya Patsi. She was on the way um, from the from her house to the fresh market just to you know buy off some grocery and stuff but uh, about 8 a.m yesterday morning the police got notified that um, somebody found her in the middle of blood pool in the middle of the road with her motorcycle just nearby mm. so the police went to the scene and uh, saw that she already passed away uh, two gunshot wounds. She already passed away about an hour before the police arrived. And two gunshot wounds, one on her shoulder and one in her head. So the police able to find who she is and um, even though there's no witness, this is really strange on the report, there's no witness of what happened, but police suspect that mm -hmm. this is because of her job she is actually a broker on the rice pledging warrants so she in the is the middle person between the rice farmer and the rice mills itself involving mm -hmm. the this rice pledging scheme part of the process mm -hmm. so the police believe that it's probably conflict of interest. Even mm. though there is no witness, the police believe that it's about a conflict of interest. And they said the gunshot wound look like it's pretty close range. Mm. So the police believe that there might have been some talking before she got shot. Oh. But she didn't make it. Right. So that's probably... Case closed. Mm -hmm. Case closed, sorry. Mm. Utaitani province. Okay. So very unfortunate. All right, let's take a short break, take a deep breath. We have um, a little bit more interesting news. Um, one good news, Kunum Tulip will report, of course. We talk about a lot about tax hike. This time it will be a reduction. Tax cut. Yes. Exactly. So please stay tuned.